Hi guys, this is Kyle Kelly from Kelly's Port taking you through a 2006 Crownline 320 LS. This is the biggest bow rider that Crownline offers and actually one of the biggest bow riders in the industry kind of at the time, but a real, real, real nice boat, guys. Um, all the right options, all the right colors, very low hours. Got about 140 some hours on the boat, which is really nice. But again, what I mean by the options, we've got the big full radar arch up at the top up here, the forward, the aft bimini, through hole exhaust, you've got the Mercury 350 Mag MPI Bravo 3, so it's going to have some great power getting up and going. Trim tabs with trim tab um, indicators as well, and a real nice boat. Let me take you up and kind of show you through. Got a center entry into the boat with a nice four pronged ski ladder with a grab handle, which is very nice. And a nice big sun pad in the back of this boat for for lounging. A lot of folks in our market, they love coving out, and this is kind of a center, uh, center focal point for the boat, which is kind of nice. See a lot of manufacturers doing that these days. Huge stowage down here. You got the huge stowage. Table leg look, looks like it's never, or excuse me, cockpit table that looks like it's never been used before. Um, but big, big uh, area that you can kind of set back here. Um, I've not seen the cockpit table leg though, speaking of. I need to track that down, uh, see if it is or is not in the boat. Uh, but you do have dual entry in the boat as well, which I really like. Makes a free flow entry inside and outside the boat a lot easier. You've also got a transom stereo remote, which is nice. Pop in, pop out cleats, which is a very nice and more expensive feature. Uh, stepping inside the boat, you've got dual doors here. Uh, short power cable hookups to charge the batteries. Refrigerator down here as well. Big seats with stowage uh, underneath here, which is pretty nice. You can see, oh, there's that table leg. You've got that. It looks like you've got the filler cushions too, guys. Um, I didn't even see the storage compartment yet. We've got some more other stuff. I'd have to run through there and see exactly what that is, but shoot, sure, guys. Wow. Yeah, it's the, it's the enclosures. Cool. I didn't even know the boat had it. Yeah. Uh, it's got the full camper canvas enclosures. That'll enclose the front area here and the back area. Uh, I need to run through and make sure it's got all of them, guys. I haven't checked on that, but again, look in that bag. It looks like it's the original bag, but it looks like there's uh, either some sort of form of enclosure, whether it's just the front and the side or it's the entire enclosure. I don't know, but that's, that's an expensive option. Uh, speaking of options, you've got the upgraded polk system inside the boat as well. Again, this radar arch with the arch lights is a very, very, very nice feature. You've got a refrigerator down aboard the boat as well. Nice big cockpit lounge seat over here, which is great. Big dual white helm seat with the flip-up bolster that you can use to ride more comfortably up on top. Uh, depth gauge, again the trim tab indicators up here for the trim tabs. Through hole exhaust, my personal favorite. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, 147 hours here, 147 hours on the starboard side. Um, and then getting up forward here, the boat, another cool feature that Crown Line does. You've got an actual full size quarter berth in here, guys. Um, first and foremost, you've got the stereo down here. It's an AM, FM, CD stereo player. Um, microwave, which is kind of useless unless you're hooked up to shore power, but hey, it's cool to say you got one. Um, you've got the full quarter berth back here. As you can see, these are filler cushions to fill in this open bow up here. And then also these are the um, uh, bow cover and the cockpit cover for the boat as well. Uh, you don't see the carpet inside the boat right now, guys. We've got it pulled out. We're doing a full detail on the boat. Uh, this is a certified pre-owned boat, so it means we've already done the full annual maintenance on the boat. We checked the compression, U-joints, gimbal bearings, all that big important stuff. Um, I think we had to replace like a trim cinder on the starboard side, but really not much stuff. But I guess where I was going with that is, is one, with that inspection, we already do the annual maintenance, and then two, the boat will come with a major mechanical warranty on the boat as well. Uh, and then three, we're doing a full buff wax and detail on it, so you don't see the carpets in them right now. They are in good, clean condition. We just got them out in these big uh, hangers here and getting them uh, cleaned up and pressure washed to make sure they're clean for everybody. Um, and I'm kind of doing this a little bit early here. We normally do the full videos and vid uh, full video and photographs whenever the boat's all detailed up, but Chad asked me to come in and take some photos for a customer that he had, and I'm sure that Chad will pay me back with some delicious beef jerky, I'm sure. Um, anyways, getting down to the, uh, the other quarter brick down here. Uh, we've got a nice full vacuum flush head, which is nice. Hot water and cold water hookups. And you can actually pull that out and use that as a little shower inside here with a floor drain as you can see down there, which is nice. Um, 
and they're getting in the front. They've got a nice deep open bow in this boat, guys. They've got the full stainless steel grab handles up on top, or grab rails, I guess you call that, with the grab handles here, the handles, and that's the rail. Uh, the um, uh, armrest up here I think is a really 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 nice feature again another set of stereo speakers two different sets of cup holders stowage underneath everything we're seeing here and then you've got a real real nice stainless steel anchor up here guys with this windlass um, you don't oh, why is that coming up have it locked duh um, you've actually got a windlass aboard this boat but you've got a stainless steel anchor yeah that stainless steel anchor is probably I'd say at least 700 bucks. I mean, I was, I was going to say 1000 bucks, but I could be wrong about that. But anyways, really, really, really nice anchor. Uh, we've got a couple small little fiberglass stuff on the boat, guys. I'm not sure if we're going to repair that or not. Um, it's pretty common to see these with crack through. It's kind of help through with screws. It's going to be common to see those kind of crack through here. You know, and this one hadn't done it. We, had, we sold two 2006s. Uh, this year and um, all of them kind of had that so that's just something to kind of expect uh, and then small little scratches in the gel You can kind of see that right there And there's another one. Well, let me step down. It'll probably be the best way to see him And again, I'm not sure if or when we have the boat in the fiberglass shop if We're gonna take care of those or not, but again guys that's small stuff here one here small one here Unless there's a couple on the port side. And, oh shoot, that's not even one. I just wiped it off my finger. And again, guys, as we buff and wax this, you can kind of see a lot of this stuff's coming off. So some of that stuff may just kind of blend in with the gel. So other than that, guys, extremely, extremely, extremely clean boat. Again, 140 hours. Um, full annual maintenance already completed on this boat it will be delivered full of fuel ropes bumpers i mean basically just a a water ready boat guys um so if you are interested feel free to give us a shout here at the marina area code 573-348-4700 or emails at sales at kellysport.com that's s-a-l-e-s at k-e-l-l-y-s-p-o-r-t.com again i'm kyle kelly from kelly's port Thank you for the time where we ask you to buy the best and only cry once.